will take a while to come, won't they? Do you want to go and get your notes? It's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> my hair's sticking up and everybody can see me now. Hey ladies, hopefully you can hear us okay. So if you're watching right now, give us a little comment. We're going to wait a few minutes for some more people. Danny to get ready, me to do my hair. <laughs> I can't figure out where to put it. Um, and then we're going to do a little chat with you about coaching and accountability. But we're in the gym, it's still a bit noisy, so I want to make sure that everybody... We've got a little posh microphones. Linda Stocks, you're watching. Hello. Linda, can you hear us okay? Give us a thumbs up or a comment so that we know the sound is working, because otherwise we're going to have to switch off. And um, try again. Delete it and come back. Sue Kingswood. Yeah, somebody's... Oh. Uh, Oh, Claire Inslee. No, no, Claire, you don't want don't to join you. us. <laughs> we got you to the... Somebody tell us you can hear us. Can you? Can you hear us? I know you can hear us. The whole gym can hear us, because obviously I'm not quiet. Oh, yes, right. we've got a thumbs up. Okay. Oh, Claire, is that a thumbs up because you don't want to join us on camera? <laughs> or is it a thumbs up because you can hear us okay? Ah. <laughs> There's always going to be a bit of a delay there. Carla, hi, Carla, Carla, you can hear us, right? I'm going to assume that you guys can hear us. If you can't hear us, say. I'm sorry if there was a lot of rustling as well. We're trying to sell the microphone now. Trying out our new little microphones. So we're like now. professionals. <laughs> I know, I want to hold mine like this, like some kind of... <laughs> That's what they do nowadays be, when be they like do a, like... Be obviously. like a reporter. <laughs> yeah. I feel like, if you're going to hold it, you need a bigger one, surely. I can't be yeah, doing this. A lot of people doing videos like that with... Itty bitty things. We've got a yep from Carla. Oh, yep. People can all hear good. us yep. enough. Right, cool. Okay. Oh, oh here we go. Awesome. Everybody's catching up now. There's always that bit of a delay, isn't there? Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my microphone now. Okay. So. <laughs> so. I've dropped this on Danny. Literally. No. <laughs> Came in. Hello. No surprise. The video. Yes. Okay. Right. We need to talk about coaching and accountability, ladies. And take my glasses off. There's too much reflection. I can't see anything. Right. We need to talk about coaching and accountability. <laughs> Nothing new here. Oh, yeah, you have to read those because I can't. Oh, what I have you been drinking? Coffee. We've not been drinking anything. Not yet. I haven't even had a coffee yet. Yes, coaching and accountability. Right, we're talking about coaching and accountability. Okay, we've got some things that we need to say about this. But I thought we'd just talk about it in general because we've got quite a lot of new ladies. And some ladies that have come back. And it's good to talk about what happens and when coaching and accountability happens yep. and what coaching and accountability is. Ta-da! So, oh, da I wrote Danny a list of questions. And then I wrote my little and notes. she's got little notes. <laughs> I can't even remember what the questions were. What, okay. what were they? First um, off, what happens? what happens in a coaching and accountability? Right, first to clarify, and then I'll give Danny the floor. Coaching and accountability is what we used to call way and measure in the olden days. And we changed the name because we wanted to take the focus away from the way right. and the measure bit. Yeah. Because it's not the most important bit. And it's fine if it is. Yeah. If, yeah. if that's what you're that's... tracking and you're making great progress, it's fine. But we wanted to encompass some other things. So, Danny. Uh, oh, sorry. I know. <laughs> I know. Just an insight as coaches, to how our as, 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 as video is going. Into, into how life is. Yeah. As coaches, as a team, we've worked really hard to kind of refine this. Mm -hmm. So what Danny's going to tell you is like coaching and accountability 3.4.7. I hope. <laughs> I suddenly panic that I'm not going to deliver yeah. now. She does most of them. I'm not being funny. If she doesn't know what happens in a coaching and accountability, we are all in trouble. Oh. Right. So what happens in coaching and accountability? Danny? Okay. So before, very important, before you get on the circuit, we will ask you, have you had your coaching accountability yet? Now, we say ask, it's very much a rhetorical question. We do want to make sure that we do get to see you um, and get you all sorted. So we bring you across, grab your folder out, and what would we... Lots She's dropped a note, she won't be able to say anything now. Um, <laughs> we start off with, first of all, asking how you're doing. I mean, that's just a nice way to get started on this thing, make it feel a bit more comfortable. We then do the way, the measure, and the body fat check. Uh, we do, if you don't want to have some of that aspect done, that's absolutely fine. What we really are focused on is the goals. We want to see what you're working on, how the previous month has been, and just set you some things to focus on. We also, more importantly, want to know what we're celebrating. See you. So we will ask you, what, what are you celebrating? And then if you don't know, we can help you figure that out. We will have a chat with you, figure out what, 
anything that's going on in your life as things have been getting easier, whatever, um, and celebrate that with you. I think that's Excellent. sort of it all, hasn't it? I think it, it has. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to come back to the celebrating bit because there was a, yes, a section. That's on quite that. hard, apparently. Yes. Okay. Okay. What was the next question um, I said? Why do we do them? Yes. And why are they important? Yes. So um, let me read my notes, honestly. <laughs> so it's important to do this because we need some form of measurement of, of success in any form, whether that is if you're focused on the measurements, then that, or if it is fitness uh, focused, so if you're feeling the energy increasing, strength increasing, we need a way to measure that. We need a way to show you that you are improving and that you're achieving what it is you want to achieve. Going back to those original X factors that you set when you join us here. I think it's... <laughs> This is the this is the bit sometimes people miss out on because they think that progress is all about the number on the scale. Yeah, and it's really not. And it's really not. And also, the number on the scale can take some time. It can be a bit unpredictable. There's a whole host of factors that influence the number on the scale. It's not just about how much you work out, what you put in your mouth. There's other way more complicated things. Yeah. And checking in each month with your coach helps us to know what we need to do to help you. <laughs> It, we should be on okay. Oh, we're back. We're back. Right. Sorry, ladies. Dipping in and out here on the old Wi-Fi. Where was I? Um, it helps us to know that we're helping you. Yes. That you are getting the benefit out of your membership and that you're coming often enough to get the benefit and that you're getting the benefit and you can feel it working when you're on the circuit and that that is translating into results for you. And it's your motivation. You need to see progress and... You need us to show you where that progress yeah. is because we're so used to pushing things just that's not yeah. something worth celebrating when actually it is probably the biggest thing that you have to celebrate. And despite appearances, we're the professionals. <laughs> Sorry, that's this is on the stretching station laughing right now. So we are the experts in what we do so we can point out where you have made your progress. So that's why it's really important every single month. Now, what about those months where you don't think you've made any progress? Should we not bother? <laughs> no, definitely come and see us because that's probably where you are going the to need our most expertise. Most important time. You're going to need something from us to help you either progress or figure out new goals. Maybe that's change what you need focus, to do. Change your focus, change your mindset. Up. Yes, and oh no, I was going to get ahead of myself. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going back to spoiler going alert. Two questions ahead. We'll come back to that one. But yeah, yeah. You need so, those. so when you feel like you've made least progress, or when you haven't been for any reason, yeah. or if your workouts have dropped off, or whatever, those are the very months where you absolutely need to. Even or especially if you think you have gained, because if we don't log that gain, say you've put on four pounds. Yep. Next month you might have lost two pounds, but you're going to think you gained two from the previous yeah. time you got measured, right? Think about that one. Yep. Okay. Next, Next question was, how long does it take? Yeah. How long does coaching and accountability take? How much time am I going to need when I come for my workout? How much time do I need? Now, I hope I've got the time right. About eight to ten minutes, we say, yeah. per person. That's so our goal. That's we our want, goal, yeah. We want to spend eight to a decent amount of time with you. You need to allow an extra ten minutes or so on your workout, maybe extra fifteen, because sometimes yep. there's a little bit of a queue, but we do try to keep it moving quickly uh, or let you know if it's going to be a longer yeah. a longer wait but that's how long it takes for us to go through all of these things we can we can measure you in about three minutes maybe not even that maybe not maybe even two that. minutes we can it's do the, the measuring goal, it's the rest of it that mm -hmm. takes the time and that's where your value is from your membership and in achieving your long-term goals months in months out this is about doing the activity checking in every single month with that long-term vision of where you want to go yep um how about prep come ready yes can <laughs> they get ready what can these ladies be doing from today this is why i wanted this video out today what can you ladies be doing oh. between now and when you get your coaching and accountability that will give you that added value from it, really help you to benefit from it and reduce the time you spend with your coaches yeah. unnecessarily. Yeah. 
Uh, basic things to start off with is getting your workouts planned for the month ahead. Get that ready. Get that. Get in that log journal, girls. Come in your on. Head. <laughs> so write in. If you can't plan for the whole month, that's absolutely fine. At least a week ahead. But do put in a number of workouts that you're hoping to get for the month because we will say, right, how many Set workouts that are you going to do? How many are you going to do? Yep. And saying that, count what you did the previous month. Get that number in as well. Because we're going to ask you that. Yep. How many workouts did you do last month? <laughs> and there's chances to win t-shirts, ladies. Get it done. Yep. So they would be sort of the starting basics that you can get done. I would also have a think about how the previous month's gone. If there's been anything that you've struggled with or if there's been something that you want to celebrate. Have that idea in your head. Have that thought in your head. So then when we ask you, right, what we're celebrating, you can go boom, boom, boom. You've got, <laughs> you, you all need and want to seek these things out really, really think about what you did well whether whether it got the results or not yeah that's another conversation but to start off with reflect on your month really think what did I do well what did I put the effort into what did I try my hardest at what did I what did I do yep because that's, that's what you want to do more of or what's changed yeah you might have yeah. noticed oh do you know what I might I went on that hike and I was able to actually breathe the whole way those are the things as well small you changes keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, I've had people say like I've been able to pick up the kids and I didn't even think about it it was a lot easier things like that, that you've really got to think about it it can be quite difficult when we suddenly put you on the spot and, and we then you have to you try and think about it in the hot <laughs> so try and get an idea in your head ahead yeah. of time so then it makes get your journals better. out oh here's a question oh Carla that's a great question oh. I nearly said it earlier as well how often do we do coaching and accountability sessions start of every month the first full week of every month so it's always highlighted this is also why you need to get to that log journal because it's highlighted in the log journal when we do it colored in I think they're lilac this yeah month. lilac in color yeah lilac day so the days that are colored in the journal are the days you'll be able to get it now done. we usually try and make it like the first Saturday but it depends where the month falls as well yeah. so obviously and then, this next month's a bit funny oh you know, it's very um, funny. <laughs> Mon and then Monday to Thursday yep yeah, Monday to Thursday well, the Saturday and then Monday to Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they're the days that we get them done. So every month, mm -hmm. first full week of every month, either starting on the Saturday or ending on, on the Saturday. Saturday yeah. And this month it will be a bank holiday because we start them on Tuesday. So we've got to fit you all in Tuesday to the Thursday. So everybody needs to get organised and be ready. Yes. So go back to this video and get those <laughs> goals and the get things thinking, in head. Get journaling, yep. reflect on your months. Yeah. Okay, um, and then got nothing to celebrate. Okay. There's always something to celebrate. <laughs> this is why she's here. <laughs> this is why she's on this video. Um, that, I mean, I would just end it there, but it is always something to celebrate. Um, and like Sal said, it might be that you've done the goals that you set for yourself the previous month. Might not have reaped the rewards from that or what you expected, but you've done it. And that's a big step because without doing it, you're not going to achieve anything overall anyway. So there's always going to be something. And if you can't think of it, we will we'll ask help you, you little questions to yeah, get you thinking about jogging. it. Yeah. And then there'll always be something, I it's, promise. It, I think it's really <laughs> easy for us to self-deprecate oh, and yeah. say, oh no, I haven't got any celebrate. I didn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this, this is a thing that takes practice. Yep. We, you know, you need to be trained in to identify in where these where these small celebrations lie. Now, we've been working hard on these celebrations. Poor old Danny nearly lost her mind last month and her soul. So we've done a few trial runs, didn't we? I've already wiped it from memory. She was very traumatised. You all traumatised her last month. Oh dear. So we did a few trial runs. We had, we had an advantage because it was just Danny and I in January, I think, wasn't it, mostly? Yeah. Anyway, long story, short. It's all coming back to me now. We did a few <laughs> trial runs. So Danny's identifying with all of you lovely ladies what you're celebrating. And then when you get on the circuit, and you all experienced this last month because we were like gatekeepers. You were not allowed on the circuit unless you told us what you were celebrating. Now, I reckon it's a maximum of 10 steps. From <laughs> where we do coaching and accountability to getting on that circuit. And I cannot tell you how many of you had forgotten what you were celebrating by the time you got to the circuit. And honestly... Or couldn't tell us. And a lot of it reverted instantly back to the Oh, I lost an inch. And one of you, in fact, told me that Danny had said you'd done okay. Now, I've done Danny. I've done Danny? I've <laughs> known Danny 
four, uh, what is it? Seven now? years. Seven years. Seven. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever, ever heard her say okay about anything like that. Anything. Okay. That doesn't, it, no. I That's not in your vocabulary. No. You, you did okay. That's horrible. Danny never said that. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I've, I've gone deep with a couple of you on this yeah. because this was a, this was a problem. Mm hmm. And there are a few that feel uncomfortable with celebrating. Celebrating, because you think it's bragging. Yeah. We've got some nods over here. There we go. We're live right now. So we need to talk about why celebrating isn't bragging. Now, first off, when somebody asks you, what did you do well? That's, that's your what, opportunity. That's your opportunity to say what you did well. That's a celebration. You need to get excited about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's worth it that, because if you don't get excited about these successes, you're just not going to get anywhere. You've got to appreciate these moments. Um, all athletes and whatever form of like people doing exercise, they do take these moments to celebrate because you don't see them win a gold medal, do you? No, when, the, when the reporter says, okay. "How did you do?" They go, "Oh, I'm not very good. I'm mean, taking the gold medal. I'm away." I put on two happen. inches. <laughs> the other thing is, all of you hear what other people are saying, and you don't think they're bragging. You feel inspired by hearing yeah. what they did. And you all celebrate with that person as well. Celebrate when, with them and yeah. share their success. So understand Have that when you <laughs> share your success, you are inspiring somebody else. Mm -hmm. You might not know it, but you are inspiring somebody else. All so, time. so yeah. Because we hear it. Um, you, obviously, that person might not say it directly to you, but they come to us and they say, oh, that lady, I heard blah, 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 it was great, I want to do that. Or it, we get the sort of aftermath of it a little bit from yeah. other members. we get the feedback from yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So it and really this is why work. we do it. This is, <laughs> this is, our gym is all about shared motivation. So hearing about somebody else's success really motivates you to do more, mm -hmm. yep. take the opportunities, and then you know that you're doing the right thing by coming here. Because you know that you're get, that you're getting the benefit. Yeah, some yeah. things that you might have overlooked, mm -hmm. and somebody else is celebrating. You think, oh, yeah, I, 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 actually, yeah, yeah, yeah that. that's <laughs> me too. <laughs> that is worth celebrating. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because we're not conditioned this way, and we want to change that. We want to really work on this. <laughs> I think I said something like this yesterday that um, we might not be able to conquer the world right now, but we're going to try with Ilkeston first, yeah, <laughs> and change this mindset. Ilkeston ladies, yeah. Um, and just remember you're with like-minded women as well. So you're all here for the same overall goal to get healthier and fitter. So help each other out. Now, if anybody's got any questions, pop them in the comments. We're going to talk for a few more minutes. So, but if you have got any questions, then do let, yeah. do put them in so we'll be able to answer them. But we're going to talk about, I've got a little list. Oh yeah, see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's quite hard to set goal when you're very, very conditioned to believe that weight loss is why you exercise, okay? Just to put this out there, weight loss is not why you exercise. You exercise to get stronger and fitter, to be able to do more things and enjoy your life, okay? As soon as you change that mindset as well, oh, it's like a difference. Ooh. You feel so much yeah. better. So it's really good to set non-scale goals, goals yeah. so you can have non-scale victories, okay? So, um, some ideas of goals that you can set. So we've already spoken about the log journal and the importance of using that. Yep. And remember, this is not about, this isn't about setting a goal and then achieving the goal. This is about setting the goal, making the plan and doing the best you can and accepting if you planned 16 workouts and you only got 14, you wouldn't be telling your kids off for 14 out of 16, would you? No. no. You'll be so celebrating 14 out of 16 would be excellent. Mm. Yes. Okay, so the other thing that the ladies can do is ask us to do a workout review. So if you feel like you could go harder on the circuit, if you're not feeling the benefits of every single machine on the circuit, if you've got any confusion about your smart tag, yep. it's then quite a lot of information. It's a lot of information. <laughs> Just ask us for a workout review. Yeah. Or tell us if there's only one machine where you're not feeling it, we might not need to do a whole review with you. If you don't understand how strength training works, if you are not feeling like you are working to failure on every single machine, and that means when she says change stations, you're you like, feel yes. like you can stay on, you're not working yeah. to failure. Or if you get to the end of your workout and feel like you could go around again, then we might want to check in with we you. We might want to check in with yeah. you. Let's okay. Get it and it's just nice sometimes just to, if it's been, like if you've been here for a long time and you might feel like bad habits of snuffing on the circuit because it can happen, 
um, you might just like, do you know what? It's, it's I've great. been here three years. I just want a review. It's great Let's to have a workout a review refresh. with one of us. Defo, defo. We'll push it. <laughs> so your PI is a good non-scale goal, so yep. keep that one in mind. And you can always ask your coach to do a quick PI review with you if you're not sure about your performance index on the SMART system and what would be a good goal to set. Because yeah. actually, if your PI is 150, you only want to set a goal of maybe increase it by five. I was about to say five. At the most yeah. in a month, because it, it's not going to go, it's not going to shoot Unless up. you're going to suddenly become superwoman. Yeah. Yeah, unless which you've been cruising, great. which you might have been, or you've not been very well, or you've had a long yeah. absence. So, so you can check with us on that. We've got the new, I want to talk about the act challenge and the activity wheel very quickly. Yep. Activity wheel, you've got me, I've blown, thrown it on that one. That's what the thing is called in the, in the challenge. So oh, on okay. the app, you oh, get yes. your activity yes. wheel. Would you want to go and grab yours? Yes. We can do a demo. So the activity wheel in your app, is the thing that tracks your points. And this, oh, not this month, in May, the challenge is about getting 3,000 points on the activity wheel. And this is a great challenge because it will focus you on the activity wheel because your mm -hmm. points set to zero every single month. And then you so you get another chance to build up your points and it goes up the levels. There's seven levels. I think there's even a hidden level actually that we don't know. I think about. the seventh is the hidden. Oh, the seventh yeah. is the hidden, right? Oh, no. no. So, oh, I can't so you start off at wood. <laughs> Bronze, copper, silver, gold, diamond. Yeah. Because the activity, it, the challenge is to get 3,000 3, points, which equates to a gold, gold level. There you go. So that's what you're aiming for. So using this activity wheel to set your goals each month, and this, this is where your achievements lie. Here it that's is. the activity <laughs> wheel. <laughs> so it's the that. bottom right, I think it is, icon, isn't it? Um, yeah, the yeah, progress. If you tap so progress on the app, there. and if you haven't got the app, get there. it. And if you don't know how to get the app, ask us. I've helped two people today. Get the app ready. <laughs> so this is a great way. This gives you something to celebrate. There's club rankings. So while we all know, we, we all, Danny is 17th. I'm 44th with zero points because I never love my workouts because I'm the worst at this, this kind of thing. Um, but. You, your achievement might be moving up the ranking, and I'm not talking about going to first. If you're normally around 20th and you end up at 18th, well, you, there's, there's ladies by you, next to you. We've had you quite can a have few little competitions. Yeah, we've had quite a few ladies that have gotten to know each other in the club. Yeah, and from the app as well, then they go, oh, you're, you're beating me, and then they do start a little challenge, and it doesn't get like heated competitive, but it is a good way to just push yourself a little bit. These are great <laughs> sort of goals and celebrations because they focus on what you do. Yeah. They focus on your action. They focus on reinforcing your levels of activity and your workouts. Yeah. And the challenge is called Strong is Stunning. Strong is Stunning. Yes. So when you load up the app, it will be on the page that loads up. It will be right there. And all you need to do is just tap it and then it will say join. I've obviously already joined. Um, it will just be like a purple button. It says join challenge. Uh, I can see that there's already How many we got? Um, Woo! 15. 15 people are already signed up. Um, so obviously it starts on Monday. So get it downloaded. I'm going to do some videos on this or maybe one video. I don't know. Yeah. Tomorrow. Um, so if you don't wear an activity tracker mm -hmm. then i'm gonna do a little video on how you can log your activities yes. because you can log more than just your workout so you can get your points um and zoom through it and get your three i will points. stress i've been letting people know today that if you do wear um, an activity tracker it's only going to consider your actual activity, like purposeful exercise. So your general day to day. Well, that's, a rule. that's the rule. That is the rule. Yeah, that is the rule. Um, you can't log things that weren't absolutely intentional. No. So, so don't, don't log 30 minutes of walking just because you went to the shops. No, it's got to be purposeful. Right. I'm going to go for a good hard walk right now. I'm going to go for a swim, I'm going to go to the gym, <clears> whatever. It will only add those in. Yeah. So no cheating. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to get too bogged down in, in that one. Because, back to the coaching and accountability, which is the purpose yep. of this video, that is a really, <laughs> see Jan, that, the challenge is a really good goal for you to set this month. So yeah. if 
if there isn't anything else or if you just want to put that as your goal this month then that's what you set you can take part in the challenge you want to get your 3,000 points you can set your 3,000 points as a goal any month yeah yeah of course you can or you can yeah. set your levels so if you look at those um, and I'll be posting some information about the levels so that you know how many points you've got to get for each level how many points you get for certain things it is quite <clears throat> it's quite complex and very technical how it works out if you've got a tracker so if you haven't got a tracker it's going to be best guess but that's how it is. And at the end of the day, if you're making your progress and you've got your successes, then that's what's important. And it's spurring you on to do what more. you need to do. Yeah, yeah just do yeah. more. Prioritise it. Then. So that's it. So remember, your coaching and accountability will start on Tuesday next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You need to allow Saturday. about 10 minutes. Yes, and the Saturday. You need to allow <laughs> about 10 minutes for it. Uh, think about your goals, think about what you've done well this this month or what you tried to do and also any benefits that you've been feeling from Note it down. getting stronger. Literally write these things down, um, it all helps and get all your workouts in that log journal, numbers in head. And remember we love this. Uh, we do. <laughs> this, is the, this is what we do this for. Your goal our is our benefits. goal. Your success is our success. We like to share these wins with you. And if you're not making progress, we do take it personally. And we're not doing something Because right. we're not doing something right. And it doesn't matter how much you say, oh, it's not you, it's me. This is what we're here for. We're here to motivate you. We're here to keep you on track. Yep. And we're here to help you identify and celebrate your wins. So any questions? There weren't any coming through. We did a really good job where everybody's nodded off. Probably. <laughs> I don't know how long that's been. Way <laughs> longer than I thought off. it was going to be. See? Tammy's Tammy laughing. It's <laughs> poor old Tammy from her sick bed. Aww. We brightened your day, Tammy. <laughs> right, we will see you all in the gym. If you haven't been for a workout yet, today's looking like a really good day. Tomorrow's looking excellent. Saturday will be awesome as always. Then you can chill out over the bank holiday weekend. We'll let you and we'll see you next week after all of that's happened. Thrill! Cool. Bye! Bye.